Hello everyone, this is a quick video just to talk about the features that I left out in the last one, mainly Zomai God buffs and a couple of things about Voodoo. Um, as you can tell this is a different character and the UI is set up a little differently including having a different spot for the spell timer, but uh, overall it's the same thing, I just have a couple add-ons that I like for myself and I also split my chat box out and I just have things rearranged in general. But anyways, let's get on to what I forgot, which was oh my God buffs, one of my favorite things. Um, as I said right here, it will be suspended in a lot of states. Currently, I am mounted, and it says it is not refreshing because you are mounted. When, So, what I need to do is unmount. And, oh look, I do not have Seal of Wisdom. If I simply scroll my mouse button, forward or back, it will automatically cast it. I also need Consecration, or it says or concentration or I can either click the button down here which uh, as you see highlights in circles or I can scroll the mouse I'll click the button for this time turns on the aura it also assigns paladin blessings it automatically will pick two and it remembers it between specs it remembers all of its settings between specs so it will hold you on different auras and different blessings uh, depending on your spec including for other classes so if you're in your ret spec and you bless bless other classes with might it will remember that when you switch back to your holy set it will make them bless in kings so it's very good overall um what you can do is if you have one of the mouses with the uh, toggle uh, clicking wheels so you can just scroll it smoothly you can just uh scroll and uh basically it will continuously buff everyone with every buff as it can which is great for paladins who have to cast like 12 buffs in a typical raid yeah, that's an over same max is 10. anyways it's a great time saver also, it has a feature called Spell Tracker, which I'll show you now. If you cast, say, Beacon and Sacred Shield, and I cast those in reverse order, you get Spell Trackers, which remember who you cast on and tells you how much time is remaining. A simple click of the button will actually cause it to refresh on the person who was enabled. You can actually do this to switch the spell timer in combat, because it will remember who was on at the beginning of combat, and you can switch it in combat real quick if you need to say switch your uh, beacon because the tank died you can switch to the other tank until they battle res your tank and then you can switch it right back it's a really nice feature also if you type slash vd options you can see how the actual icons look since i actually have a hero who has icons so if i go over here to options hot icons click icons now it will show icons instead of just glossy squares. Hooray. Voila. As you can see, it even shows down here. Doom Scythe shows I have Sacred Shield, Beacon, and it shows my Flash of Light tick. It also shows it up here. I like having two sets of it just because I'm that kind of person. I have my va main vision over here, but occasionally I'm looking over here for deadly boss mod timers and such. And so having this right here is great for me. Um, anyways, that's the majority of the features I really wanted to cover. Um, so my God Buffs is a great manager. It works with all classes, all specs. It is amazing. If you've used anything else, you'll probably want to replace it the second you try this on. It does take a few seconds to get used to, but it is very customizable. It remembers exactly what you did with it. If you go over here, the so my God Buffs icon, it will show you exactly what it's doing. It's giving which blessings to who, it has templates for what things are enabled. Um, I actually do believe in uh, Buff the Raid single spells. I do believe Hand of Freedom is actually remembered by default. Um, if you simply right click this icon, you can go down to uh, each of the things, self buffs, class specific. You can tell it which ones are learnable, like Seal of Wisdom is learnable in the spec. Righteousness is not. Vengeance is, for whatever reason, because I'm weird. And uh, Righteous Fury is not. Consecration Aura is. Um, buff the raid single spells. You got beacon of light sacred shield I've unchecked learnable because I do not want them to learn this. Um, you can simply click the spell to make it toggle on and off You got your blessing managers which opens templates. That's extremely complex Portals for other things and overall it's like all my add-ons extremely extremely customizable And I love just being able to scroll my mass wheel when I lose a buff it is just great. Of course, the scrolling only works out of combat. In combat, you will have to cast your buffs by yourself because it does not automatically cast, which is really nice because otherwise you'd be wasting valuable global cooldowns as a healer. But anyways, that's the cover of it, and uh, if you have any more questions, feel free to leave it in the comments. Thank you and bye.